go. All right, so hi. Um, last week, if you remember, we watched this video about two brothers, brother versus brother, and they were having a pizza eating contest. So they're being really silly, and they try to see who could eat uh, the most pizza, big brother or little brother. And this is the website. Now, in the video, one of the words that they talked about was puke. So if you don't know what that word means, think about what would happen if you ate 20 slices of pizza. Um, probably the first two or three slices, you're feeling good. But then maybe after the 10th slice, uh, you're having second thoughts and you're thinking, oh my God. And then after the 20th slice of pizza, this is where the food wants to come out and you're feeling sick. And so that means puke. So um, another word that people use to express this idea is throw up or even the word vomit. And this is where um, the food comes out of your stomach. So um, not just for pizza, if you drink too many alcohol, uh, too, ma too many beers, um, then you're going to feel this. Okay, so let's look at an example sentence. He feels vomit. Um, the sentence is not correct, and the reason is because vomit um, or puke is a verb. And so in order to make this uh, sentence correct, um, we use the word like he feels, and we have to use that with an adjective. So an adjective might be like the word happy. So he saw all this pizza and he feels happy. And then he ate the pizza and he ate more pizza and then he feels sick. And then after all this pizza, it came out of his stomach and onto the floor. He feels sad. Now to use the word puke, we actually have to change the verb, feels, and we need a different verb. And so here we could say he has to puke. He has to puke or he wants to puke. Or more simply, we could just say he pukes.